In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use your Stream Deck to turn on your background lights on in your room. You're gonna be able to connect them up so that you can turn them on at any time directly from your Stream Deck. This might be a nano leaf, it might be LED light strips, it might be this type of lamp that I've got back here. Everything that you have in your room that is lights, you can use your Stream Deck to turn it on. You can even use it to turn on other stuff like your speakers. So I'm gonna show you in this video how you can connect your Stream Deck to all of these devices and turn them on just like this. So in a couple of seconds, this will turn on and my bookshelf will light up like that. So this is perfect for people who do YouTube or stream. You can just go ahead and turn these on instantly whenever you want to record, making your setup as easy as possible. And we know that if you have an easy to use setup, you're more likely to record videos and create content. So to set something like this up, you're gonna need three different things. You're gonna need the Stream Deck and the Stream Deck software installed on your computer. You're gonna need some form of smart plug. The ones that I'm using, you can see it right here. They're called Tapo. I'm not sure if you've got them in the United States, a link down below to a smart plug that you can use to do this exact same thing. So you're going to need a smart plug and the smart app on your phone. And you're also going to need IFTTT, which is a software that allows us to connect our Stream Deck software to the smart plug software so they can talk to each other. So what you wanna do is go ahead and set up a smart plug like you normally would. You'll probably plug it into your socket, then go into the app that the smart plug provides you. I've set up mine right here on the Tapo app on my phone. And what I've done here on my phone is simply just went ahead and give each of the devices, each of these little plugs that I have a different task. So one of them is background lights, which is this desk over here. One of them is bookcase lights, which is this over here. And then I've got one that turns on my speaker. So I'm simply doing that through this app. Now, what I have done, I have you know different lights over here. I have a keyboard and stuff like that. Now, I have everything plugged into an adapter that allows me to plug four different items into one single plug. So if you have a lot of LED strips in one location, for example, your background, you might want to go ahead and plug that into uh, you know a strip of like four different plugs and then plug that in so that whenever this plug gets activated, it turns on all of them lights. So once you've set that up in your application, again, I'm using Tapo, you might be using something different. We can now go ahead and connect our Stream Deck to the software called IFTTT and it will connect our Stream Deck to Tapo. So this is the software we're going to use to connect our Stream Deck to our plugs. Now right here you can see it is free for five applets. Now for each different plug that you want to turn on and off it's going to require two applets. One applet to turn the plug on and one applet to turn the plug off and that will correspond to two different buttons on your Stream Deck. Unfortunately right now I don't know of any way that you can just do it on one single button. So you will be able to control two plugs on the free plan and then you'll be able to maybe do some something else with that other free app. But if you've loads of plugs, you may have to upgrade. It's a pretty cheap application. It's two pounds 30 per month here, about $3 per month for 20 applets. And then you can get unlimited applets for like $6 a month. So it's really, really cheap to go out there and use this software to control these little plugs. So go ahead, sign up to that free plan. And once you're into your account, you will see something similar to this. What you wanna do is come up here to the top right hand corner and click on create. And then you're gonna see this. It's gonna say, if this, then that. And that's essentially how this works. So what we're gonna do is add a brand new one here. I'm gonna go add this. So what you wanna do is if this, it's gonna be web, hooks. So we're going to use a web hook to connect our devices to the Stream Deck. So I'm going to click on Stream Deck here, and we're going to receive a web request with a JSON payload. So click on that, and then give your event a name. So for example, if I'm using a plug to turn on my background lights, I might use background lights, underscore background lights, on. I like to put underscores in here. Don't use any spaces. Uh, you can only use letters, numbers, and underscores. So background lights on. Now I already have a trigger called that. So I'm just going to put a one on the end here and I'm going to click create. So if that is pinged, what we want to do is add. Now you're going to search in here to find your smart plug software. Mine is Tapo, TP link Tapo. So I'm going to click on this and then I'm just going to go ahead and do a turn on. So if I click turn on here, I'll be able to see inside my Tapo account. So you're gonna be able to see inside your account for whatever smart plug you're using. And you can see here, I have different actions that I previously set up in my app on my phone, the Tapo app on my phone. So which device, I'm gonna do background lights right here. I'm gonna click create action. So once you've done that, we then need to go ahead and connect IFTTT to Stream Deck. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click continue here. We don't need to receive notifications every time we turn this on and off unless you're doing something that uh, is maybe like 
security, like if you've got security cameras, something like that, where you want to know if someone's accessing it, you might want to turn that on. So I'm going to click finish. So we now have this inside our IFTT account. So background lights on one. Then head over to your Stream Deck software. So I've got a little grouping in here. You can see IFTTT. So this controls my bookcase and my background, which you can see behind me. There's two buttons for each, on and off. So we've got four different buttons there. So what you want to do is head over to this plus up here in the store for Stream Deck. You're going to go to plugins and you're going to search for IFTTT. And that's going to give you the IFTT app. So just click to that to install it. And then you can utilize it with your Stream Deck. So I've already installed it. I don't need to. So I'm going to come over to the side here, IFTTT, and I'm going to drag this as a new button onto my stream deck. So once we've added that as a button, we now need to get our maker key. This key allows Stream Deck to communicate with IFTTT. So what you want to do is head over to IFTTT.com forward slash maker underscore webhooks. And I'll link this link down below as well. And once you're here, click on documentation. This is going to pull up this page right here. And you can see at the top, it'll say your key is grab that key. So simply just copy that from here and go ahead and paste it inside the Stream Deck software. Once you've done that, you can give your button a title. So I'm going to give it background lights on. I've spelled that wrong, but let's just background lights on. And once you've done that, you need to put in an event name. Now your event name is going to be the exact name that you give your webhook inside IFTTT. So for this one, it's going to be background lights on one. So I'm going to click this uh, and I'm just going to copy that. And I'm going to come in here. I'm going to paste that in here. And that is your applet created. That is everything linked. So now when you click this, it should go ahead and turn your lights on. So you can see right now behind me, this light is on. Now I'm going to push a button that turns them off. And that is this button right here. So in a couple of seconds, that light should turn off. Now let's go ahead and test our brand new button that we created just to make sure that it works. So now when I go ahead and I push that key in the bottom left hand corner right here, this should come on in a couple of seconds. And you can see it just flicked on the light is now on and that key is working. So what you want to do now is simply just go through that process again. So come back into IFTTT and then go ahead and create another applet that turns it off. And that's going to be a second button. So I've already created one here. You can see background lights off. So I'm just going to copy that again, simple process. Just go through, create a webhook that connects to your plug software, your smart plug software. Once you've done that, then go ahead and add that button into uh, the Stream Deck software. So I'm going to click the background lights off one right here. And I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to create a second button in here with IFTTT. This is just going to be lights off. I'm going to paste the event in here. So background lights. Oh, that says on. Let's do off. Hit enter. Make sure it's saved. So it is saved now. And then I'm going to click that button. And in a couple of seconds, them lights should go off, which they have. So that's exactly how you go ahead and control your smart plugs, your lights with your Stream Deck, with a free software, and it really adds some value to your studio and setup. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, do all that fun stuff, and I'll leave some links to the smart club plugs and the Stream Deck down below in the description. It will be an affiliate link, so I make some commission if you do go ahead and use that link. I'll see you guys in the next one.